Hi everyone and welcome back to Sunday School. My name is Miss Chelsea and this video is for ages 3 through 5. First off, I just wanted to say thank you for all of you who sent in a video for our Christmas Eve reading project. Um, all of you did such a great job. It was so wonderful to see your faces and hear your voices. We put all those videos together and we're going to show them um, for the whole church at our Christmas Eve service. So make sure that you watch at least one of those Christmas Eve services so that you can see what our project looks like when it was all finished. All right, now if you are participating in Sunday School today, you will need a few things. First, you'll need the worksheet, Jesus Brings Joy, Jesus is Born. You will also need find it here. This one, Celebrate Wonder, J is for Jesus, journal page. In addition, you will need some things to color with, as well as scissors and some tape or glue will work too. If you do have an advent wreath, make sure you have that handy because today is our fourth Sunday in Advent already. That means we're on the last Sunday before Christmas this year. Crazy. All right, go ahead, pause the video, gather those things, and we'll be right back. All righty, so today we are continuing our story about Jesus's birth. And today our story is called Jesus Brings Joy. It's from the Gospel of Luke. All right. Jesus brings joy. The man in power, the emperor, Caesar Augustus, wanted everyone to go to their hometowns to be counted. Joseph was from Bethlehem, so he and Mary had to go to Bethlehem. It was a hard trip walking from Nazareth all the way to Bethlehem, and Mary was going to have her baby very soon. Bethlehem was very crowded and busy when they arrived. That night, baby Jesus was born. Mary wrapped him in cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the guest room. All right, let's look at this picture. Well, there's baby Jesus. So there's his mother Mary and his father Joseph. We got some animals over here. Looks like a donkey and a sheep. Why do you think there are animals looking at baby Jesus right now? Well, it says in our story that because everything was very crowded, they had to lie him in a manger. And a manger is something that you use to feed animals with. So baby Jesus was born in kind of barn with, with lots of animals around. Can you count all of the animals in the picture? Let's see. Let's count them together. One, two, All right, thanks for listening to my story. So each week of Advent, we've been talking about our special faith word, and our special faith word starts with a J, a J, J sound. Anyone remember what it is? The word is joy, a feeling of gratitude and happiness. Mary and Joseph had a hard time before Jesus was born. They were afraid Angels talk to them, and just when they think it's all going to be okay, they have to travel all the way to Bethlehem. How do you think Mary and Joseph felt when they couldn't find a place to stay? Remember, they got to Bethlehem, and it was so crowded that they had to put them in a barn. How do you think that made them feel? Probably not very happy, <laughs> especially since Mary was supposed to be having a baby. What do you think they felt when Jesus was born? Well, I think that they probably felt our faith word, joy, that feeling of gratitude and happiness. I wonder what the manger felt like where Jesus was born. Do you think it was cold? Do you think it was maybe kind of smelly with all those animals in there? 
All right, so we're going to do our worksheet, Jesus is Born. So go ahead and get out Jesus is Born, and you're going to need your crayons and your scissors and tape for this activity. So the first thing I want you to do is color all, everything on this sheet. So let's talk about what we have on the sheet here, first of all. Well, the, we have a little baby. Who do you think the baby is? Well, there's Jesus, of course. And then we have his father. Do you remember what his dad's name was? Joseph. And his mother. What was her name? Mary. And then we have this building over here. What do you think this is? Well, this is supposed to be the stable or the barn where Jesus was born. So after you color Mary, Joseph, Jesus, and the stable, I need you to, with an adult's help, cut around these, and then I will show you what we're gonna do next. So go ahead and pause the video, get color in and cutting. Alrighty, so once you have all of those things colored and cut out, we are going to put them together on a sheet of paper. You can just, you can use construction paper, you can use just plain um, computer paper too. And you're gonna make a little picture of all of the people that were in our story. So I have my barn in the background here, and baby Jesus, and then of course, Mary and Joseph. So take a second, use your tape or your glue, and arrange a nice little picture for us. Alrighty, make sure you share that picture with someone in your household. The Bible story today tells us that Jesus was born in humble circumstances. We know Jesus was not born in a hospital, and Jesus was not born at the home where Mary and Joseph lived. What do you think the area looked like where Jesus was born? Well, we already mentioned that there were probably a lot of animals there, and we mentioned that it might not have smelled very nice. <laughs> but the good thing is, is that Jesus was born and for that, we have so much joy. So our last worksheet for today is our G is J, excuse me, J is for Jesus journal page. And what I'd like you to do is decorate your J today um, with some Christmassy things, maybe some things that you like to do around Christmas or maybe some Christmas colors to remind yourself that Jesus is the reason that we celebrate Christmas. All right, so pause the video and color your J. All righty, I wanted to share my picture with you. Today I chose to draw some Christmas trees and some Christmas decorations. And I even put some stars up here because stars are a very important part of our Christmas story. And we'll be talking about that a little bit later. So here is my J is for Jesus Christmas J. Make sure that you share your J with someone in your household. Alrighty. It is already time for us to light our fourth candle. So if you have your advent wreath, go ahead and get that out. And today we're gonna be coloring in our fourth candle, which means that we are on our last Sunday before Christmas. This one's called the peace candle. Now, once you've colored that, we only have one candle that we haven't colored yet, and that's the Christ candle. And that's the one that we're gonna color on Christmas. Alrighty, now once you've finished coloring, it's time for us to pray together. So go ahead and fold your hands and close your eyes and pray with me. God, thank you for all the joy we see. Amen. And thank you for coming to Sunday School. I hope you guys have a very, very Merry Christmas. Make sure you watch the Christmas Eve service at home with your family. And we'll see you after Christmas. Have a good day.